Nike back at it again with the self-lacing sneakers or what it refers to as the future of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Nike Adapt BB. They were announced at an event in New York City and the event was streamed on Twitch of all places. Thumbs up for Nike on that one. Nike's Adapt BB, the shoe is called, the BB stands for basketball, is technically the third self-lacing sneaker from Nike. If you remember, this all started in Back to the Future Part 2. Marty McFly's Nike mags self-laced. Those self-lacing mags actually became reality a couple of years ago, and then Nike released the Hyper Adapt 1.0s. Those were $720 and frankly very hard to get. I tried and never ended up getting a pair. These, on the other hand, are half the price. They're $350. I already ordered my pair, so there will definitely Definitely be a video when I get them. But for now, I've watched basically like every video. I watched the announcement and I want to share some of the information that I've gathered with you. So these shoes will be hitting the market next month around All-Star Weekend. They did have pre-orders up. That's how I got my pair. And pricing, $350, yeah, that's extremely expensive for a pair of sneakers, but when you compare that to the $720 that the original pair was, for me as a sneakerhead, this was a no-brainer. So what does self-lacing actually mean? From what I understand, when you put the Adapt BBs on your feet, there's a sensor in there that knows your foot's in there and will tighten. It's also got buttons on the side for tightening and loosening. And the Adapt BB looks pretty different than the original. Frankly, I think this version looks way cleaner, way sleeker than the 1.0s. And you can't really see any of the electronics or the laces on the sneaker. You probably wouldn't know it was a self-lacing sneaker just by looking at it, which I think is cool. And unlike the 1.0s, the Adapt BBs will self-lace kind of on the upper and they also have a wire around the heel. And in the 1.0s, it kind of only wrapped your feet on like the top of your foot. There was no true like ankle support being tightened. So that's new. The shoe is also packed with sensors that aren't actually being utilized right now. There's smartphone grade parts inside, like an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and then obviously the motors. There is Bluetooth, so there is a smartphone app that you can do things like change the color of the lights, you can loosen and tighten the shoes, and then you can also create presets. So you put your feet in the shoes, you tap a button, let's say you're going to play basketball, you tap the basketball fit, and then the shoe will tighten to your liking that you already set it at. Regarding battery life, Nike says the sneakers will last about 14 days, and that will obviously vary upon usage. The sneakers do charge wirelessly. It comes with a charging pad that appears to be powered with USB-C. And the shoes are smart enough to save enough battery so your feet don't get trapped in there when the battery's low. My friend Jock Slade was at the event and he has a very detailed first look at the sneakers. His video will be linked below, so definitely check that out if you wanna watch more. And just kind of taking a step back and trying to analyze this whole thing because I love to think. Nike dropped the Hyper in the name. The original shoes, the, the Hyper Adapts as they were called, were the Hyper Adapt 1.0s. These shoes are called Adapt BB. And again, the BB stands for basketball. So Nike sees this as a platform, the Adapt platform. And I don't think there's anything stopping Nike from doing, let's say, Adapt skate shoes or Adapt football cleats or adapt running shoes, for example. They are more or less paving the way to do self-lacing sneakers across all sort of genres of shoes. But I guess it makes sense that they're starting with basketball because usually when you think of Nike, you probably think of basketball, right? And there will be players in the NBA wearing these kicks, so if you're a basketball fan, definitely look out for these. And I think as it stands right now, that is the only colorway, at least that's the colorway that I ordered and will hopefully get, I think they said it's supposed to ship by like February 20th or 21st. But aside from thinking of these sneakers as sort of like tech or like a smart shoe, for example, there are people that have disabilities that physically cannot tie their shoes. And I think this could be a big deal for people like that. You've got a pull tab on the tongue and the sneakers seem like they just slip on and then all of the electronics will tie your shoes for you, which I think is really great. I almost can't believe that uh, I'm getting a pair of these. Uh, watching Back to the Future as a kid, the self-lacing sneaker has been this sci-fi dream for like 20 years. No, like 30 years at this point. And of course, Nike is the first to do it. So I'm really excited to own a pair of these. 
Uh, I'm not sure that most of you that watch my videos know I am a pretty big sneakerhead. Like, like I have a pair of white cement fours right here. I have a pair of custom vapor maxes. I have these crazy glitch things. Got a pair of true blues over here. So yeah, happy to add these to the collection. I'm definitely gonna wear them. And like I said, I'm going to be making a video about them because as far as I'm concerned, that's a gadget, but also a pair of sneakers. So until then, I'll leave more links in the description. A bunch of kind of news outlets have videos about the sneaker. The Verge has a really good one. So look for links in the description again if you wanna see more. All right, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. If you're new around here, subscribe for more technology videos and I'll catch you in the next one.